Here with Dr. Jim Stepani, gonna be talking about the supplement known as CLA. What's going on, Jim? How's it going, Mike? <laughs> so look, you know, to jump right into it, just wanna, you know, get into everything about CLA because I know it's like a hot supplement you see all over TikTok, you see all over Instagram and social media. Um, you've been talking about for a long time, but for somebody who is just getting into the space or maybe not knowing, what is CLA? Like in plain English, like what is it? So in plain English and very simple terms, it's an omega-6 fatty acid, right? And so one thing that most people know is omega-3 fatty acids, like from fish oil, right? Right. Um, are the, the, the healthy uh, omegas, whereas omega-6 are also healthy, but the problem for most people is it's a balance of six to three. Well, CLA is an omega-6 from linoleic acid, but it's conjugated, okay, meaning that the, the structure changes. And so it's basically what they call an isomer of linoleic acid. And due to that change in the shape, it provides different properties in the body, beneficial ones on uh, fat metabolism, on uh, maintaining or even uh, building uh, a muscle, um, as well as other health benefits. Got it. So basically, like the goal is to help support your metabolism by decreasing your body fat. Yeah. So, so a lot of people, you know, think of CLA as a fat burner, right? Well, it does increase uh, calorie burn. Okay, not directly. It's a very indirect, uh, complicated process. The way it works through numerous mechanisms. Um, that we're literally just starting to, to, to fully understand. But it basically helps with the way that the body uses fat, okay? Um, and, and what's interesting is one of the things that it does is another supplement that, that, uh, that we talk about is L-carnitine. It, CLA enhances the ability of carnitine to help transfer fat to the mitochondria where it burns. Okay, and so there's numerous other ways that it also does this. It also prevents new fat cells from being built and even prevents fat from being generated. So it, it, it helps to, you know, prevent fat gain, but also it helps with fat loss. So with that, you know, I mean, everyone's trying to like, you know, lose as much body fat and and build as much muscle. Is there one particular person who maybe needs to take it more than the other, or does it really matter? Should just, you know, anybody looking to train, build muscle? Yeah, I, most people will will see benefits from, uh, from CLA, but now again, it's not something where you're gonna take it and you're gonna know, like, with like a fat burner, right? Like, let's, let's take, uh, you know, Shred Gym, for example, right? Uh, you know, when you take that fat burner, you feel it, right? You 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 feel the the caffeine. Right. You feel the, the thermogenesis, stimu the stimulant right? Effect, because right. you're burning more calories. When you burn more calories, right, your your body temperature literally increases, and so you you feel that with a fat burner. With CLA, you're not going to take it and feel it. It's come. It's it's like taking fish oil, right? You don't feel like an immediate. Oh, you know, I noticed something. Right. But over time, and, and what the research shows is about 12 weeks, really, before you really start noticing uh, any concrete uh, changes because of the way that it works in the body, the way that it changes the, the structure of fat cells and the way that the fat is used in the body. So you would say that like the biggest misconception about CLA is that it is a fat burner, but it doesn't act like your normal fat burner that people feel. Exactly. Got it. You know, is CLA thought to work best for like body composition? Like, you know, how does that support? Like, you know. Yeah. The it, 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 and that's a good way to, to sort of state it. It, it. it promotes better body composition, which, mean, which means a leaner, you know, leaner, more muscular uh, body. There's, there's numerous studies that show subjects lose body fat while either maintaining more muscle while dieting or actually gaining muscle with CLA. In fact, that's why I've been recommending it for, for decades now with good feedback from, from thousands of people using CLA um, to help with that, you know, maintaining more lean muscle um, while you're dropping 
right. uh, you know, body fat, which pretty much is the goal that almost everyone uh, yeah, but, <laughs> but you know, that, me. That's been your biggest, I think, adversity with your critics who, you know, say, oh, Jim, you know, you can't, there's no way you can build muscle and lose fat at the same time. And, I, and everyone says, everyone says you can't do that, right? Every, everyone says, oh, anyone, Dr. Jim Stepani is a ranting lunatic. He doesn't know what he's talking about because he's claiming you can build fat and build muscle at the same time. And then yet we have, you know, you got tens of thousands of right. people doing your programs. So do you think like CLA is kind of like one of those key ingredients that can help that statement stand yes, up? Yes, de definitely, which is why I, like I said, I rec I've been recommending it for, for decades now for that very reason. Now, again, like I said, it's not one of those fat burners that you can take and feel, right? But over time, you will likely notice that right. you're leaner and uh, more. So it's good, it, it's, it's good to essentially state that, like, this is not like, most people think supplements nowadays is something that you take and you, there's an acute benefit that you either feel or you see. Right. And so I think that's where a lot of the misconception comes in, at least as long as I've been in the industry with you that supplements need that immediate response. And so CLA is what you're saying is something that it's important to understand why you're taking it, mm -hmm. you know? And so in, if you were to pitch to somebody, Hey, here's the reason why you need to take CLA for you. Like, what would you say to them? It's going to, it's going to help prevent fat gain, right? So it's going to stop uh, new fat cells from being, uh, Create, it's going to stop fat from being created, right, and then stored. Is that um, regardless of your diet? So do you have to change anything in your diet, or it's just going to do that regardless of what you I do? I mean, obviously, you don't want to be eating McDonald's three meals a day, right, right and ex take CLA and expect to make radical let's say, changes. Let's say you don't but change as long anything, as you're right? following a relatively... Right. you know, realistic diet, right? right? Let's say nothing, you know, over the top. You know, you don't have to go to extreme uh, calorie uh, deprivation or anything, but, you know, uh, uh, you know, a fine, smart diet, right? No, you do not need to change uh, anything with your diet, just usually taking the CLA. But again, it's not like you're going to take it in the next week, you're going to be like, oh, I lost five pounds, you know? Right. You know, over I think time, that, yeah, you know, I think and like I said, what some of the research is showing that most people really don't notice a difference with CLA till around like the 12 week mark. Cause I think that's the thing is setting that realistic expectation of like, if I take this supplement, you're going right. to see this change regardless of what you do. Cause you know, the, the tendency nowadays with, you know, peptides being in, you know, something that yeah. most people are using. Yeah. Everybody wants quick results. Yeah, they want TRT. And and you've always said to me, it's like those options are available, but just understand the long-term effects. Like just now we're finding out about the long-term benefits of creatine. And the reason why is because people have been taking it for 30 years without any issues, you know? Right. And so I've always said that to anyone asking like, Hey, you know, what do you guys think about TRT? What do you think about peptides? Essentially these short, what do you think about, you know, GLP ones, like these short term things, although they work, could have long term consequences. And CLA is kind of one of those, look, there's a longer tail for it because that's the way that it just works. Like, so if you're looking for a yeah. quick, quick result, right. are people going to get quick, quick results from CLA? No, but the good thing is, is, People have been taking it for decades, so we right? Say. And so it's, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a grass supplement, meaning, you know, generally regarded as safe, right? So it's, it, it bypasses right. any regulatory issues on, on safety, right? But we have decades, decades of people taking it um, safely, but also effectively seeing results right. from it. So we're, and, 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 the, and the other thing to remember is like if you're if you're going like, well, why would I take something that's going to take 12 weeks to help me lose body fat? And it's like it's not just body fat. It's a health supplement. It reduces inflammation. Right. And in reducing inflammation changes a lot in the body. Right. Which, right. which is one of the reasons why, why people take peptides. Loss. Well, that's the other thing too, is because you, know? you mess about and and muscle gain. Right, you, you have less inflammation. Right, your body is able to recover better. You're right. able to build more muscle because you don't have energy going to fight 
the inflammation. So would it be one of those things, because that's the one benefits people talk about, you know, like BPC-157 and all these peptides, oh, it decreases inflammation. But CLA essentially does it, just not in the acute phase of like an injection from like... Right, a, exactly. Right, so it's like, because that I think that's interesting. Uh, you know, I, yeah. uh, like I said, I've been recommending CLA for decades, right? And most people who you know, sort of fit our profile, right? Want to be stronger, leaner, more muscular, see really good results with, with CLA. Right. But I'm again, a, it's not, you know, an immediate, you know, you, you don't get the benefits immediately. It's, you know, it, you, it gradually, and then you notice you're like, oh, wow, you know, I'm more muscular, I'm leaner. Right. So the, the last kind of questions I'll have is like, how much should somebody take per day Great question. Let's just start there. How much should they take per day? So, so the thing with CLA is it's a fat, right? So obviously fats, you know, remember the, for those of you probably too young to remember, the government used to recommend very low, they, they would recommend against things like peanuts. Uh, be careful of avocados because they have too much fat in them, right? right. Well, at least we're beyond... You know, that stage where we right. think all fats are, but yeah, fat avocado, is, right. you know, fat has, you know, nine calories per gram. Protein and carbohydrates have four calories, right? So it is a high calorie nutrient, right? And so you don't want to be boat loading CLA. So what the research shows is right around, and it's a bit of an exact dose, 3.2 grams seems to be like the sweet spot. So three, you want to be three like to four, three to four, four, to four grams. three to four grams a day, yeah. right? Um, because you don't want to go, too, you don't want too much of it right. either, right? You, right? right? You know, it, it's like saturated fat, for example, right? Saturated fat is good for testosterone production. However, too much saturated fat is correlated with higher LDL, the, the you know, negative mm. cholesterol. Uh, and so there's a balance, you know, right. with, with most things, you know what I mean? Right. Um, so you don't want too much CLA. And like I said, three to, three four, to grams four grams a day. And what the re there's a lot of studies on this 3.2 gram dose Got showing it. benefits. So last two questions, um, you know, to kind of wrap it up here is, is there anything that CLA is best to be taken with? Yeah, food. Food. Always take it with food. Take it with food, yeah. Like Got a high-fat meal. Got it. For better absorption. So just kind of, and the last question I'll say is, you know, just to kind of recap, like, what is it, how it works, how to use it, where can they get it? Yeah, so, so it's... So let's just start with, like, so it's what a, is it real quick? Yeah, it's a healthy omega-6, right? Don't think of it as the regular omega-6 is because it's a conjugated form, meaning it does something completely different. The body handles it completely different than linoleic acid, okay? It's because of, because of the conjugated form, particularly if you have those isomers that uh, I was talking about. When you take it, right, it changes the way your body metabolizes fat, okay? It prevents you from creating more fat and then storing it, right? And it increases lipolysis, which is the release of fat right. from fat cells. So you're getting less fat going in the fat cells and more fat coming out of them, right? right. That means you're getting smaller fat cells. You're losing, in, you're losing and using it, body fat. How and, many and when? Uh, when are you taking it? Well, you said like, you know, how much, you know, you should take like, Three to four grams. Yeah, take like food. take uh, one one to two grams, like twice a day, basically. Got somewhere it. right around there. Okay, one to two, three. Three point two yeah, is the exactly. ratio that you so, kind of you know, recommend. Like but one point six to be if you're going to do twice, twice a day, day, you'd be like at a one point six or or two twice a day. Twice a day get with you four. Food. Awesome, awesome. And then so now with meals, yeah, any with meals. meals.